good afternoon, miss. Okay. <laughs> wow. Um, hey there. Oh, wow. You look absolutely exhausted. Come here. Come here. I'll sit down with you. Just for a bit. You look like you definitely could use a break. And there we go. Just relax for a moment. You know, I've been watching you run around like crazy all week. These new classes, I can tell they're taking a toll on you, aren't they? Come on. I can see it in your eyes. You have that overwhelmed look. Like you're drowning inside of a sea of lesson plans and grading. <laughs> Trust me. I've been there too. I know it all too well. You know, it wasn't always like this. Remember when we first started? The school was way smaller. Classes were actually manageable. <sighs> but then they decided to expand and take on all of these extra courses. I swear, it's like they forgot that we're actually human, not just grading machines. Hey, come on. Talk to me. What exactly is going on in that beautiful mind of yours? I get it. You're feeling really overwhelmed by the difference between what you expected and what it ended up being. And now you're starting to have doubts on if this even is what you want to do. But hey, I'll tell you what. Let me share something with you. A few years back, I went through pretty much the same exact thing that you're going through right now. It was only my third year as a teacher, and then out of nowhere, everything changed. Whole new curriculum, more classes, more expectations... Honestly, it felt like I was drowning. Every night, <laughs> you know what I would do? I'd bring home a stack of papers to grade and a bunch of snacks. And I was staying up until like 2 a.m. Trying my best to keep up. My lessons started to suffer and I could tell that I was getting way too exhausted. I felt that way that you're feeling now. You start to think maybe you made a huge mistake. Maybe this just wasn't the path for you. I can see it in your eyes. That you know exactly what I'm talking about. That feeling of not being good enough. Being inadequate. Failing your students. Failing yourself. It's tough. It really is. But here's the thing. And I want you to listen. Look at me. I really want you to listen. You're doing an incredible job. I mean it. I've seen you in action. The way you handle your classes, how you connect with each and every one of your students. It's amazing. And I know the workload feels impossible right now, but the fact that you're pushing through, that you're still showing up every day with a smile, it says something about you. To me, that's what makes you an outstanding teacher. And I want you to know, you are not alone in this, okay? I know that we probably shouldn't be overstepping our boundaries while we're at work, but I'm still your boyfriend. I'm yours. Okay? I don't ever want you to forget that. I'm here for you whenever you need me. In fact, from now on, you can consider me your official grading buddy. Anytime you need, I'll come over. It's no trouble at all. Just say the word. 
You really want to help me too. That's that's very sweet of you. But <laughs> how's your math? <laughs> That's too bad. Well, maybe we'll stick to me helping you with math. And you can help me with, uh, well, we'll figure something out. You always know how to help me in other ways. You know, I've been meaning to tell you something. And it's going to sound cliche, but it's true. And I'm not only saying this because we just started dating, but because it's the honest truth. Things around here, they started to get a lot more exciting when you joined the staff. Like before you came, the kids, they were, well, let's just say they weren't exactly thrilled about learning. I remember walking down the hallways, looking into classrooms and Seeing everybody just sitting at their desk, bored. It was disheartening, to say the least. I started to question why I even became a teacher. Why did I do any of this? But then you showed up, and everything changed. <laughs> I'll never forget your first week here. You came in with this energy, this passion, and it was infectious. I mean, it brought me to you. It's why I asked you out on the date in the first place. Suddenly, kids were getting more engaged, and they were asking questions. They were actually participating. I'd walk by your class, and I'd hear them laugh, and I'd see students actually excited about learning. It was beautiful. And that beauty is something that exists because you created it. That was all on you. Okay, darling, listen. You've made my life better, and you've definitely made their lives better. In more ways than one. Having you here, it's, it's like a breath of fresh air. You remind me of why I got into teaching in the first place. It's not about the subjects we teach. It's about inspiring people, showing them the joy of discovery. And somehow you just do that so effortlessly. Watching you teach, it really, it really reignited my own passion for education. So, Tiger, when I see you all tired like this, I can't help but think how adorable you are. Even when you're exhausted, there's this fire in your eyes. It's inspiring, really. It is. Now... Why don't you rest your head on my shoulder for a bit? That's it. Just relax. We've got this. You and me. We're a killer team. Together. You're amazing, you know that? And I am so glad you're here with me. You know what? I have an idea. <laughs> it's a really good one. Why don't we set aside one evening a week to grade together? We can order some food, put on some music, and we'll tackle those stacks of papers as a team. What do you think? Sick. It'll be our little grading party. Who knows, maybe we'll even find a way to make it fun. I'm sure we could think of a couple different ways. <laughs> and speaking of working together, 
I was thinking that maybe we can collaborate on some lesson plans. Combine our strengths, you know? Your creativity with my experience. I honestly think we could create some really engaging material for them. Oh, and about that field trip that you mentioned. Yeah, that one from last week. The Science Museum. I definitely think we should pursue that. The kids would love it, and it would be a great hands-on experience. It doesn't matter what the old principal thinks. If we get enough votes, I'm sure he'll change his mind. Hey. Your breathing's getting a little slower. You've fallen asleep on me again. <laughs> it's okay if you are. You deserve the rest. You know, seeing you like this, peaceful, vulnerable, it makes me realize how much I really do care about you. And you know what I mean, not just as a colleague, but as your lover. But we can talk about that later. For now, let's focus on getting you through this difficult moment. Remember, teaching, it's a marathon, not a sprint. We're in this for the long haul. And trust me, I know you've got what it takes. I've seen your dedication, your creativity, your ability to connect with the students. These, these are things that just can't be taught. They come from within you. And sure, the workload is heavy right now, but we'll find ways to manage it. I promise. Most importantly, we'll support each other. You know, one thing that helps me when I'm feeling overwhelmed is to remind myself why I became a teacher in the first place. I mean, do you remember your reason? That's beautiful. Hold on to that. On the tough days when everything's just so difficult, and nothing's coming together. Remember that reason. And remember the impact that you're having on each and every one of their lives. I still remember my favorite teacher from high school, Mr. J. <laughs> he taught English. And he always had this way of making literature come alive. He didn't just teach us about books. He taught us about life. And that's what you do too, you know? You're not just teaching you're teaching them how to think, how to question, how to grow. And that's why I believe in you so much. Because I see the difference you make every day. Even on days like today when you felt like you may have fallen short. Trust me. You're still making a huge impact. Hey, your shoulders are so tense here. Let me... Is this okay? Good. Just relax. Let some of that stress go. You carry so much on these shoulders. The weight of your students' futures, the pressure of the curriculum, the expectation of parents, the administration. It's a lot for anyone to bear. You don't have to carry it alone. And I'm here with you to help lighten the load. Whether that means helping with grading, bouncing around less than ideas, or just being a shoulder to lean on. 
I want you to know I'm here. This. Your breathing's getting deeper. Are you drifting off? <laughs> it's okay if you are. You're safe with me. You know, you look even more beautiful when you're relaxed like this. All the worry lines smooth out and you look so peaceful. I could watch you like this for hours. But I suppose we should probably think about heading home soon. It's getting pretty late and we both do have early morning classes. You think you're okay to drive? If not, I'd be happy to give you a ride. Alright, if you're sure. Just text me when you get home safe, okay? And before I go, I want you to remember something. You're an incredible teacher. You're making a difference in these kids' lives every single day. And you're strong enough to get through this tough period. And if you ever doubt that, then just come find me. I'll be happy to remind you. <laughs> now get some rest tonight. Tomorrow's a new day, and I promise you'll do amazing. Of course, seeing you is the best part of my day. I'm here whenever you need me, my love. You've got this. And I've got you. Always. Always.